Turn on this video. This video talks about how to cooperate with the laws of God. If you want to see the miraculous, if you're in the healing ministry, I know I'm talking to my 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 um my uh, friends, uh, people who are together with me in the healing ministry. This is um, Andrew Womack. He's talking about um, uh, cooperating with the laws of God. If you actually want to see the miraculous happen, if you actually wanted to see great results in your life as uh, a man of God, as a vessel God will use, you need to do what to cooperate with the laws of God. Remember, this is the healing center. This is where we make men mighty, where we talk about how to actually go out and impact lives. And we also use this uh, platform to pray for the sick because I believe that when we pray together, the power of God moves in this, um, this uh, platform out to reach those people who are not um, um, who are not uh, healthy or who requires healing in one areas of their lives or the other. Apologies, last week I was on pros. I was I paused to actually, you know, get some rest in order for us to keep dishing out the video. And thank you for listening to always watching our videos when we come out and uh, bring out new things for you to watch. Remember, my focus on, on this video is to actually analyze what the man of God has said in one or two areas, then we can now call it a, a shot. So I just want you to listen to the brief uh, before we can actually say more on that. Has provided everything that we'll ever need before we had the need. He created Adam and Eve and didn't wait until they got hungry to think, oh, you need some food. And then he responded to them, and oh, you need to breathe. And then he gave them air. And God anticipated every need of Adam and Eve and the entire human race. That is a paradigm shift. I had one of my students come up and say, that's not a paradigm shift. That's a paracorder shift. Amen. <laughs> that's a big shift. Amen. And so this is a huge, it changes everything if you understand that God has already done everything and he's seated at the Father's right hand and we aren't waiting on God to move. God is waiting on us to reach out and receive. And I've tried to balance this because sometimes people will take these truths that I'm talking about and so they just sit down and it's kind of like que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. God's already done it. There's no responsibility on me. It's not responsibility the way it's taught sometimes that you have to make God do something, but it is we have to respond to his ability. It's our response to his ability, responsibility. And we do have to respond, and there is a part that we have to play. And so I was talking about that. Yesterday we talked about uh, 2 Kings chapter 4 where Elisha refused to accept the responsibility for this widow's need. And he says, what do you have? And last night I was really trying to make the point that every one of us, God has already created the supply before you had the need and there is something he's put in your hand that will release his power. And, you know, we could just continue to talk about that because there's hundreds of different things for every different person. It's not the same thing. But the principle holds true that there's nobody who is just totally incapable of overcoming. It doesn't matter how bad your sickness is, how bad your finances are, how bad your... Okay, so you, you can hear what uh, the man of God is saying here. I was actually looking at healing because he does the healing center and... Uh, Fortunately, this message is actually uh, talking about uh, things that, you know, in our areas, how you can actually assess the power of God by taking responsibility. It doesn't mean that you have to do it yourself. God is willing to work with you to get it achieved. But the point is, are you ready to work with God? Are you ready to cooperate with Him? Because it's God that will make his power to happen in your life and when it does that is when you see the miraculous 
that is when you see the miraculous. Let's uh, listen more to this message and get blessed. Emotional problems are, it doesn't matter how, what's happened to you, God has anticipated your problem and created the supply before you ever had the need, and there is a way for you to turn that situation around. It's usually beyond our ability to figure it out, but that's the reason that, praise God, we have to be dependent upon God, and that's the reason the Holy Spirit is given to show us these things. And if we'll cooperate, you can overcome anything that the devil throws at you. I don't believe that there is anything too big for God in us and through us to deal with. Nothing. Man, I was sharing some great, great things with the interns today that would really fit right here, but I'm not going to share that. So what I want to talk about tonight is if all of this is true and if God has anticipated and if he's already created the supply and we just have to respond, why is it that we don't see all of this? If God's created this supply, why don't we see it come to pass? And I want to start here in Romans chapter 3. And in verse 27, I'm breaking right into the middle of what he said, but I've got other things I want to go to, so I'm not going to put it in his context. But it says here in Romans 3, 27, where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. And there's a lot in that verse. I could make a lot of different applications. But what I was wanting to point out is he says that law, faith is a law. Faith is governed by law. And this is what I want to get across tonight is that people have this concept that God evaluates us on an individual basis based on whether you've been studying enough, whether you're holy enough. Hmm. Can you imagine? You know, a lot of things to actually, you know, digest. I, I, I plead with you, go and watch the full video. The title of the video is Cooperate with the Laws of God by Andrew Womack. LWCC. So uh, this is a video that if you want to see healing in every areas of your life, if you want to see results in every areas of your life, you need to cooperate with the laws of God. And the laws of God, according to the context of this message, the little that we've shared together talks about the law of faith. It's not boasting. This is no boasting. This is the law of faith at work. Is the law of faith that makes things to work in our lives and our lives will change for good so we are going to be drawing the curtain right in here but remember to subscribe to the healing center to be getting more of this video analysis comments because um, if we want to go the world way we want to the word of God to actually sink inside our spirit man for us to actually get the result we are asking for and that is what this is all about so subscribe to my channel and share this video with your loved ones and uh, you will be blessed you definitely surely will be blessed so this is how we'll call it a shot see you in our next